Shot and killed over road rage tonight. Arlington police say they know the car involved. They have new video and now they need a name. Our Jeff Paul live in Arlington where he spoke with the victim's girlfriend who saw all of it. Well, Kaylee, investigators say this video right here shows Dylan Spade just moments before another driver took his life. Tonight, that man's girlfriend, who was in the car at the time of that shooting, she sat down with us in the hopes that it might help lead to an arrest. Yeah, that's us, and I didn't know he was actually behind us the whole time. Christina Huggins is a survivor. I definitely think that's the car. She was sitting next to her boyfriend, Dylan Spade, Sunday night, when police say this black BMW car pulled up next to them on I-20. I heard a gunshot. Dylan was shot in the head. He could just get bleeding and I couldn't do anything. Christina managed to unbuckle and steer the white pickup truck from the passenger seat off the highway. She crashed into this sign, but it was too late. Dylan had lost too much blood. I know it's not my fault. I definitely know that. I just... Um, I just wished I could have done more. Christina walked away with a large cut and several stitches. Doctors tell her a mark will likely be there for life. I don't mind having it because it'll remind me that he died with somebody that he loved and he was happy. Her focus, finding the person who forever changed her life. It still scares me that he's still out there. Arlington police say it's the person behind the wheel of this BMW who pulled the trigger after hand gestures were exchanged between the drivers. In no circumstance should violence ever rise to this level. Lieutenant Chris Cook says there was also a passenger in the BMW who saw it all. Christina says having witnessed one of three road rage attacks this week, she hopes drivers are watching. I understand they're scared, but if they really have a good heart in them, don't come forward. Now, police do not believe this road raid shooting is somehow connected to any of the other road raid shootings that have happened this week, but they do tell us they're going to be sending those security camera footage images to the FBI and maybe Secret Service, hoping they can maybe pull a plate from that video. Meanwhile, the family has set up a GoFundMe account if you want to help them out. That link is on our website. Reporting live here in Arlington, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News. That is one strong young lady, Jeff. Thank you very much.